I'm currently taking the seals off the old injectors, ready to replace the seals. Final injector complete. About 25 more to go. We're just going to get the filters out of the injectors and they're proven very difficult so you have to watch this go flying across the room until you get this out I think. Alright, three, two, one. <laughs> you got to than that, come on. <laughs> Don't hurt my headers, honestly. All that, just for this. <laughs> but that has happened for every single injector. It was gonna fall off when I did that. So that's our final two injectors in. Here we have a custom tool made by Will's Mechanic to hold the crank in place whilst we tighten the crank bolt up. It's still, not the it's still not the first green bar on the torque grid. Oh, that's 250 to be fair. Okay, we'll take that.
Okay, so we're just doing a mock-up of the fuel injector wiring. And as you can see, it does fit, but we've got things that are getting in the way. So we decided to basically get rid of all the plastic covers to give us more flexibility with the wiring, give us more clearance and space and freedom. This is definitely the move, it's just a... Disclaimer, this is our we did it, not how to do it. to make a custom loom 101. <laughs> so we've just situated the loom on the engine, now time to clean it up. So now we have a cleaned up harness. We're still waiting on a few more parts, but the wiring is a lot cleaner. Righty loosey, lefty tighty. Jeez, the gearbox, so I can't get it wrong. <laughs> so the engine build is finally complete and Will is going to list the final few components that have been attached. Yeah, so we've fitted the clutch, flywheel and gearbox, we finished off some wiring adaptations made some modifications to the dipstick so that will fit and then a few other things such as the clutch fan and some more wiring that got cleaned up underneath the interstate manifold. So now all of those components are fitted, we are now going to install it and that's what you're going to see in the next video.